do we know? We don't know yet. Uh, we What we do know about the Delta variant is it definitely is a lot more transmissible. And uh, people with um, adequate protection with the vaccine can still get infected, even if they are asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic. Yeah. And, you know, the Delta variant does seem to affect children more than the original coronavirus. So any idea how children may fare against the mu variant, I guess it's probably too early to tell. But what are you recommending to your patients? It is, as you said, too early to tell because um, mu Delta is almost 99 percent of the cases that we're seeing now. And we don't we haven't seen too many mu variants um, cases yet. What I'm telling my patients is variants are going to come. It's quite likely that uh, the vaccine over time may not protect as well. So while the transmission rate is still very high, my suggestion to my patients is after they're vaccinated, to be on the safer side, wear your mask, keep the social distancing, um, and um, do all, all the low-tech, um, non-invasive precautions that you took until the transmission rates are all the way down. Yeah, and we've reported, of course, that hospitalizations are dropping here in Southern California, but are you concerned that we could see an increase following Labor Day travel, Labor Day gatherings? That is uh, what has happened historically until now. And I'm hoping that with the number of people vaccinated, um, we will not see that that surge that we saw before. Vaccines are a safe and effective um, way of uh, protecting. And uh, we just have to um, get everybody vaccinated. Yeah, that's the real key, because that's how these uh, variants form among those who are not vaccinated. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna, we do appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. And NBC4.